First question is from Mr. Dave OC. What are your tips and strategies for weak point improvement? Oh, weak body parts or lagging body part improvement. The first step you can take is to train it at the beginning of your workout. Um, that's If you're doing like a, a workout where you're training multiple body parts in a workout or you're doing a full body workout, which is what we typically recommend for most people, just gets people the best results. Mm. Train that body part first, even if it's a small body part, even if it's your biceps or triceps or calves. hamstrings or calves. The hardest part is admitting you have a weakness. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> Step one, admit. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the <laughs> but yeah, hit it first. Studies show that this actually works, and it's been done by bodybuilders forever. Well, so similar a, advice yeah. to that and uh, is uh, worked for me uh, when I started implementing this probably, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago when I started to really sort of focus on weak body parts. Um, I think everybody uh, is consistent for a while, falls off, consistent, falls off. It's, I mean- Common. Right. Yeah. Very, very common. And uh, the pattern that I, I would fall into early years or the first you know decade of training is fall off for a few days or a week or maybe a couple of weeks or even a month. And then when I start back up again, I, I don't go, oh, what did I do last? Pick up right where I left off. I always go start back at my favorite of course. muscle group. And so what tends to happen is the, the weak body parts, your least favorite, um, just get trained the least. Mm -hmm. And so... It, part of it is just having that mental discipline of, okay, I'm going to agree that if I fall off even for just a few days or a week and get back in the swing of things, I'm not going to pick up back right where I left off. I'm going to pick up well, my weak body part first and mm -hmm. always start the week that way. So if you're running like a split routine, I'm starting the, the week always with my weak body part. If I'm running a full body routine, I'm always starting the workout with the weak body part. Yeah, that's it. more volume, more frequency for the weaker body part uh, is a great strategy. Uh, another one, and this is a this is a uh, this is one that you know I actually I've done it a little bit in the past, but Adam talked about it uh, years ago on the podcast. I thought it was really smart. Unilateral training, or when you're training that body part that's weak. Allow the weak body part to dictate the amount of reps you're going to do. So this is for people who have a weak body part that tends to be uh, on one side. So I have one shoulder, one bicep, one tricep doesn't match the other one. Work the weak one first. Allow that one to dictate the intensity uh, for the other body part. And then the, the last one, this one's my favorite, prime your body yeah. before mm -hmm. you work out. Oftentimes you have a body part that doesn't respond because you're not connecting well enough to that body part. Like, for example, let's say it's your chest. Well, when I do um, bench press, it's not just my chest I'm working, it's in my chest, my shoulders, my triceps. And if my chest is weak, then my shoulders and my triceps will probably do more of the work. But if I prime my chest properly and focus on feeling the chest, then I can make the, the bench press much more chest effective. I find that most common with calves, chest, back. Yeah. Those sure. those those are the ones that uh if if you're already prioritizing it, right? Like and you're still struggling and still a weak point, there's a good chance that uh, your your secondary muscles are taking over more of the load and priming would could be a game changer for you. It's going to be a discipline cuz nobody likes to focus on their weakness all the time and like it's it's a lot more like I'm always pulled into things that I'm more comfortable with and like I know I'm strong with. I want to have a good workout. My workout is going to be good determining whether or not I feel like I was strong in that workout and I accomplished uh, my goals for that. But so it's a totally different mindset is to really put that in the forefront and, and give it that kind of attention that it needs and prime it and, and be diligent about consistency. Yeah, absolutely. Um, consistency is a huge one. With the body, which is uh, you know one of the, the points that uh, that Adam brought. Here's the the last one I'll say. We, we I talked about priming. I'll give you an example of a way you can prime a weak body part. Um, now priming can and typically is very individualized. So if you have maps prime, follow the compass and and do the priming that's best for your body. That'll help. But if you want some general advice, try doing an isolation exercise for the weak body part first, then go to the compound lift. That's a form of priming that helps you feel the muscle or at least the target muscle you're trying to work on. And you can also do isometrics and, and take it even a step further yeah. like and make a, a full workout around isometrics, which has great benefits to it and also like really puts that kind of attention uh, to the recruitment process that it needs to even wake up. 